Welcome to this video. My name is Stefanie Ufmes and I want to show you today how to use the examples that you get with the MBS FileMaker plugin download. The download comes as a zip archive. We can look in the download folder because I downloaded it before and if we double click it we can look inside. The files in the archive are all read only so if you want to use them, please copy them on the desktop before you use it. We have about 600 examples that you can use. In the documentation, we have function reference. In the description of the single functions, you can see that we have a part with example databases, there you see in which example the function is used. Additionally, you can see the example path. The examples are sorted by components and the operating system requirements. An example that only runs on Windows, you will find in the win-only folder. Components with several examples have an own folder in the example folder. For example, we look at the barcode generate function. Here we see that we have two examples where the function is used. We open the first one. We will find it in the example folder, in the folder barcode and in the file with the name barcode generation. We open the example folder, then the barcode folder and have here the barcode generation file. This is the first of two examples that I show you in this video. With the MBS FileMaker plugin you can create more than 80 types of barcodes. You can even create barcodes like the Swiss QR code for payments. We open the project and see that we can create in this example a lot of different barcodes. We have two different buttons that can trigger scripts. If we want to know which script is triggered by this button, we can activate the layout mode and can double click the button. And we see that the script run is execute and we can look at this script in the script editor. Here we can see the script. At first we clear the image container that contains the output. Then we set a variable and call in it the MBS barcode generate function. This is a typical structure of the MBS function. We call the MBS function in a set variable script step because we want to store the result in this variable. Each MBS function call starts with the MBS function and we set the function name as the first parameter and then follow, separated by the semicolons, the other parameters. In this example, as the other parameters, we have the barcode type and the barcode text. As result, we get the image of the barcode. If we don't have any error by the creation of the barcode, we write the barcode as an image to the container and release the image reference. The MBS error function is a very useful function to test if the last MBS function got a valid result. You can call this function after each MBS function to check the error state. Then we have the run file script. In this script we store the barcode in different image file formats as files on the desktop. We get the desktop path from the MBS folder user desktop function and add with the pass at pass component function the file name of the barcode. Then we write the barcode file onto the desktop by given path. In the function barcode write file we set the image data type. These steps we repeat for every data type. Now we look to another example. With the help of DynaPDF you can load, change and write PDF documents. The example that I want to show you is the add page numbers example. As the name suggests, page numbers are added to a PDF document. 
we find this example in the Dyna PDF folder in the example folder. If you copy a database that use Dyna PDF functions, you need to copy the right library too. We see the libraries here. We use the Dyna PDF DLL for the 64-bit version of Windows. Then we can open the database. In this example, we have two containers and a button. One container is for the input document and the other one is for the output document. The output document is created when we click the button. In the script workspace, we can see three scripts. One is the init Dyna PDF script that initializes the Dyna PDF component. And here you can set the path where FileMaker finds the DLL. Another script is the clear script that clears the output container. The last script is the add page numbers script that is triggered by the button. At first, if Dyna PDF is not initialized by now, we call the init Dyna PDF script. The second query of initialization tests whether we have problems with the initialization and quit the script. If the initialization is finished, we create a new PDF environment. Then we want to import the PDF pages from the input container. Because of that, we set some flags for the import. Next, we open the PDF from the container and add the first page to the document. Then we set the origin of the coordinate system. We want the origin of the coordinate system in the upper left edge because it is more intuitive, understandable for the most humans. We query the number of pages of the PDF document to know how often we need to run the loop. Also, we need page width and height for the positioning of the page number. We want to display the page number on the button side in the middle of the page. In the loop, we added the current page. We set the font and the font size. Then we draw the text with the function Dyna PDF write F text X on the page. In the parameters of this function, we set the PDF environment, the position data, the text alignment, and the text itself. With Dyna PDF end page, we finish the editing of the page and got the next page. And so we run the loop again. After we finish the last page of the document, we save the PDF and release the environment. Then we store the PDF in the container. Then we can run it. And we see we have here the page number. I hope you enjoy our trip to the examples. Feel free to use them. I wish you a lot of fun with the examples of the MBS FileMaker plugin. If you have questions, visit the FAQ section on our website or write us an email. We look forward to help you. Thank you for watching this video.